hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel today's video we shall be speaking mainly on orientation what you should know about medical school as a beginner right so stick to the uh, to the end of this video so that you get to know things that i'm about to say and also if you are coming across to my channel the first time don't forget to subscribe like comment and also share our video so that other students come across it and benefit from it awesomeness right let's proceed the first thing you you have to know as a beginner in medical school when i mention beginner is from those that is entering 200 level to 300 level not for those in 100 level because if you are still 100 level you are not yet a medical student in fact you are you have not entered medical school right <laughs> now let's go on first thing you should note is you have to study you must read the most there is capital letter you must study right you have to study and the momentum or the energy you gathered while you are in your own level that you made is you make beautiful result is quite different from what you are going to use in your 200 level you have to double your momentum double that energy right don't feel so relaxed that I've made A's in my 100 level. I'm going to use the same energy to enter 200 level and start making A's. It doesn't work that way. Because in 200 level, there are plenty of things to read. You have more volumes of work to cover. But in 100 level, you don't have such. One chapter in 200 level equals to like four or five chapters in 100 level. Right? And in chapters, there are topics in chapters. Right? So you have to know that it is not a rosy place it is not a place you should feel relaxed it's a place you have to double your momentum in 200 level you must study in fact you have to study you must study when i say study is that you must study and start early and start to be jacking that is why a medical school don't study with jack because of what there are plenty of things to study there are plenty of things to read that is why we call it jacking right so you must read if you don't have the the energy to read then quit yes that's the gospel truth if you don't have the energy to study you then quit there's no two ways about it there's no shortcut so have the mindset that you must study you must read if you want to become an a student an excellent student students who fetches excellence as if they're fetching it in a stream you must study right if you want to become a distinguished student students who radiate excellence a student whose excellence speaks volume of him or her what you need to do is that you must study the first thing to do is you must study so as you are entering medical school that is from 200 level have the mindset that yes you are going to read you are going to study is a must you see how how i'm i'm laying emphasis on it to tell you that yes is a call unto you that you must study that is the only thing that nobody will do for you nobody can study for you nobody will study for you right so that is the only work someone can do assignment for you is good but nobody can study for you you have to sit down on your on your seat and study right studying is not reading you have to study you see how, how i'm laying emphasis on it to tell you how important it is how significant it is as you that is entering medical school right the next thing to do is have a mentor. This is a vital aspect of it. Yes. Don't say that I do not see anybody to mentor me. You are the one to go and search for the person who will mentor you. Because a mentor is someone that you are looking up to. A mentor is someone that you know that, yes, this person has gone far. This person is radiating excellence. This person, you love the way him or her is doing well in his or her academics, right? Because get, getting a mentor is important the mentor is someone that is uh, ahead of you in class let me just say you are in 200 level and your mentor is in is in two, is in 300 level is quite good or your mentor is in a clinical class such as a 400 level class or 500 level or 600 level is quite good those are classes that you have a high percentage of getting mentors don't get a mentor to someone that is in your class it's not it doesn't work that way that is not a mentor it's a friend right and again, do not get a mentor with opposite gender. Like, 
a male should get a male mentor. Why a female should get a female mentor? That is how it works. So that things work straight for the both mentor and mentee, right? So we call it mentor and mentee relationship. So mentor is someone that you give accountability, like you give the way you are going, you'll be accountable to the person, right? Because you are, you are looking up to this person. This person will always ask you your word about how are you doing your studies, where and how have you reached, what and what are you doing, right? Maybe after your studies, you, you give your mentor review. Your mentor, maybe you guys will meet weekly or you meet every three days in a week. It depends on arrangement, on how your mentor have chance or how he or she is uh, disposed in a week, depending on the chances he or she has, right? But mind you that the mentor is someone that you are accountable to. And being accountable to someone is so much important. It will help you to study. Because there is a point you get in medical school that you, you will not be feeling easy to read, except the exam is coming. But the mentor will always stir you up, give you task, show you how to do this thing. This is how you do it. This is the format. This is the way to navigate it. Right? So mentor is important. Get a mentor today. Get two or three mentors because one mentor might not work for you. So get two or three mentors. They will guide you. They will groom you up because these people are experienced. These people have passed the level which you are finding difficult. So they have passed it. They have experienced. They know the, the way to navigate it. So they will tell you, right? So the, num the number three is work with those that have the same way you are going. Work with those that have direction. Work with those that knows where they are going in life. See, I will be honest with you. Don't go to medical school and start making friends. It does not work that way. Make friends with those that have the same vision you have. Make friends with those that are vector, but not scholars. I believe you, you understand what I'm saying. Make friends, that, uh, make friends with those that have direction and magnitude right not those that only have magnitude but no direction right so make friends with people you know that yes their life is is geared to a particular point a particular direction because there are some people in a medical school that don't know where they are going i'll be honest with you like them themselves don't know where they are going so imagine you making friends with them that means you are going along with where they are going that does not have any direction, right? So that is another thing to note. The next thing you should note is that you must believe in yourself. That is the next point. You must believe in yourself. Have you believe in yourself that yes, you make it, you make it in medical school because the, the worst thing as a student to have in him or herself is having a disbelief and also having low self-esteem. That is so bad. It will demoralize you, it will make you to have this ability that yes i can't do it right so you must believe in yourself that yes you must pass across all through the exam professional exams all through the stages in medical school and you must come out with excellent results right that is that one the next point that you, sh you should note about medical school is that know what that works for you yes don't use it because your friend is doing this and you can't do it it might mind you right it might affect you. It might cause a havoc on yourself, right? So knows what that works for you. If you are not a night class person, or a person that goes for night prep, I know that, yes, you are not, and you want to join your friend, you might go there and start sleeping. While your friend that is a night class person or a person who goes for night prep is reading while you are sleeping, right? So knows what that works for you. If you are not a type that understands fast then go to class and pay attention to lecturer there are some persons that can read and understand without anybody explaining to them whereas you you know that yes you, you are not the same person with, with that person right now why don't you go to lectures and listen to the to the voice of the lecturer then as you are reading on your own you are getting it you are assimilating it so knows what that works for you don't be a, a type of person that follows their friends, whereas you, you are, you are, you are messed up. You don't, you don't even know how to tackle things. 
So knows what that works that works for you. Don't follow your friends and do what you know that yes, this thing is not working for me, but you are just a kind of saying, let me follow them. Right? It does not work that way. The next thing is study in all conditions. Yes, study in all conditions. This is, this is an important aspect. As a medical student, read in all conditions. Whether you are hungry, whether you are depressed, whether you don't have money and, and anything, read. Because life, life might meet you in medical school whereby you don't have money. You are depressed. You don't, you like, you don't have money. You are depressed. Like, you, you are, you don't have strength at all. But the exam is coming up. School does know that the exam is coming up. Oh. Right? I mean, uh, you or the life that is, that is happening around you does know that, uh, that the exam is coming up. And school don't know that, yes, school, school does not know that, that, uh, yes, all these things are, ha are happening to you. So you have to study all conditions. Study while you're angry. Study while you're happy. Study in all conditions. That's just it. Because there's no two ways about it. And you must pass the exam. So why don't you adapt by studying all conditions? Right? Have that mindset. Because medical school is not waiting for anybody. And you must pass that exam. Right? So the next point is strictly follow your lecturer's instruction. Yes. Whatever your lecturer tells you to do, do it. And now we put this thing in this video that every rumor in medical school is a genuine information, right? When you are hearing rumors that the exam is coming up next week, and you see that, yes, it's a rumor. It's a rumor. It's not yet a valid information because timetable is not, is not yet out, right? You went and feel relaxed. Next week, they, they paste the timetable. Tell me how you cover. Tell me how you are, you, are, you, you are able to revise. But had it been you used that rumor that you had last week as a genuine information, that means you will start preparing. So every rumor in medical school is a genuine information. If you, if you hear that the exam is coming up next month, that is a rumor. Start this month to, start to begin to prepare, right? Because when you start next month, you might feel overwhelmed. You might not cover anything, right? So, take every rumor in medical school as a general information. Mm -hmm. Now, also follows your lecturer's instruction. I've said it earlier. What, whatever they tell you to do, do it. Do all your assessment. Do everything. If you have been called to, to dissect, dissect it. So, these are things you should note about medical school. And also, do your assessments. Most times, Lecturers do give AOC in the form of assessment. Yes. Let me just say, they will come and tell you, draw the diagram of E and submit. Not knowing that that E is going to come out in exam or in quiz. So use every assessment. Do it very, very well. So use every assessment as if it's an exam question, it's a future exam question, or it's a future quiz question. So every assessment has high percentage of coming out in the exam because those lecturers might not even mark it but they'll keep it lo and behold you see it in your in your exam day so tackle all assessment that are so much important don't play with any assessment you are being asked to do do it and learn it because it might come out in your exam it has 80 percent of coming out in your exam even in quiz right so i believe with this video you have understood what you should know about medical school. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. I really appreciate it.